Hi, this is Glenn Villar of Phoenix Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, I'm just going to show you how to test for capacitance of uh, electrolytic capacitors and to test if the capacitors are still working fine. We're going to use a Zenith DT-9205 A Plus digital multimeter from Lazada which originated from China. So, what I have here are a few electrolytic capacitors and we're gonna check for the capacitance value and if they're still okay. Make sure that your digital multimeter is, I mean, the, the negative uh, probe is connected to the COM and the positive probe is connected to this side. So you'll see there is a CX uh, label there. So you won't get lost. Now, you look at this portion here, there are like uh, symbols and it says F, stands for farad, and you have a 200 microfarad here, 20 microfarad, 2 microfarad, 200 nanofarad, and 20 nanofarad. So, the maximum microfarad is only 200, so anything beyond that, I won't be able to test using this portion here. So let's try and check this capacitor. Okay, let's focus here. It says uh, 22 microfarad, 25 volt. One thing peculiar about electrolytic capacitors is that their foot, I'm sorry, I mean their feet are not equal in size, in length. The negative part is always shorter, while the positive part is, part is always longer. And usually the negative side is marked with negative or this black line here. Like this one here, it shows a negative sign. But on this type, it doesn't show a negative sign, but you can see this rectangular symbol here on a black strap. So to be safe, you can actually uh, look at the fit. As I said, the smaller part is the negative. And the longer part is the positive. Okay, so before you do any testing for any electrolytic capacitor, you must short the negative and positive uh, uh, fit connectors so we can get an accurate result. So to short them, you just need a screwdriver, regular screwdriver, and short these two leads like that. So once it's shorted, we can now do the testing. Get the negative side of the probe, uh, the, the multimeter probe, and connect it to the negative connector of the capacitor. Then select, well, wait. Let's check for the capacitance first. It says 22 microfarad there. So I'm going to set this multimeter to 200 microfarad. So connect it and observe 
the digital display. Yeah, it says 23.9 microfarad. Our capacitor is 22 microfarad. So 22 up to 23, uh, that's a good range. So let's go to the next one. Here, it's a slightly bigger than this. And let's check for its value. It says 100 microfarad, 25 volts. 100 microfarad, so it's still within our capacitance testing uh, uh, level. So find the negative side and use the negative probe of your digital multimeter Oh yeah, let's shut it first. Says 106.98, um, and its value is also 100 here. So it's fine and it's uh, okay. It's not faulty. Next is what is this? Okay. 220 microfarad, 25 volts. Let's test this out again. Oh, now you see, if the value of the LCD in the multimeter says one, it means that it is out of its scope and it this part here won't be able to test it so if we want if we can't able uh, if we're not able to know the capacitance then we just uh, need to check if if it's a uh, charging if it's charging rate and it's discharging rate is still okay so first we're going to short this thing then we will have to change this setting again and instead of connecting it to this ME we connect it to the volt voltage and uh, ohms uh, connection then we'll have to select the continuity why so we need to charge this capacitors capacitor and so we can read the you know this uh, charging and discharging rate when we charge this one it should be gradually increasing and not just jumping into a higher number so quickly if it's like that then it's okay so we'll test it again charge it first remember that we need to connect our uh, or, I'm sorry we need to set our multimeter to continuity and continuity is this sign here yeah that orange one first you test your continuity if you hear a beeping sound and a red LED I mean if you see the LED flashing then it means it's okay there right so let's charge this poor fellow sorry this poor fellow yeah. charge it oh so when you're charging it when you're charging it don't uh, interrupt it let it finish charging until it reaches the one before you remove the probes so I'm gonna discharge it again and let's do the charging one more time there so this thing is now charged we'll see it's it's discharging uh, rate as you can see it didn't actually uh, there was no fluctuation when it was charging right it was gradually charging it so the charging is okay now let's look at the discharging 
set your multimeter to 220 uh, volt for DC settings because we have a 25 volt setting here. I can actually set it to 20 or higher, like 200 volts, <coughs> and it's still okay. So I'm gonna connect this negative now to the negative connector. And uh, let's check it now. There you have a 2.78 volts and it's uh, <clears throat> gradually discharging. See, it's going down slowly, right? So it means this capacitor is okay. So this is how you test it. If you don't have a, I mean, if the if your uh, multimeter uh, cannot handle this uh, high uh, capacitance value. So next is, let me check this. Yeah, 470 microfarad. So it's way over our limit here. So no, we're not going to use this part here. So we're just going to test for its charging and discharging rate too. Short the capacitor again. Change your multimeter to connect, uh, sorry, this uh, this symbol here, the continuity test, then make sure you plug the negative to the negative uh, connector of the capacitor, capacitor and charge it there. Switch again to 20 volts because it says 25 volts, right? and observe its discharging rate. There. So, last one. Here's a larger capacitor. It has a 1000 microfarad value and 25 volts. Discharge, set to continuity, and charge it again. Wow. As you can see, it took a while to charge this because it's a, it has a larger capacity than those smaller ones. So let's check for its discharging rate again. Okay, so the larger ones seems to be to have a slower discharge rate than the smaller capacitors. Okay, guys, so that's all. I hope uh, this um, episode has helped you and assist you, you know, to impart some of my knowledge about uh, electronics, basic electronics. Uh, until the next episode, guys, thank you.